Hi everyone. A lot of you know me as Donalyn Morin. What you might not recognize is the hair. I could not keep up with the blonde anymore. So I went back to my Italian heritage and went dark again. Still trying to get used to it. But I wanted to post so you can have an idea of who you're talking to or who you're reading about. Um, I'm 59 years old. I'll be 60 in November. I was diagnosed, I believe, six years ago with severe hypometabolic atrophy of the bilateral temporal lobes consistent with early onset Alzheimer's. I had symptoms for many years, but I thought it was the lupus going to my brain, or fibro fog, or just getting old. Um, a lot of things changed. I had given up my driving years ago due to the fact that I have random strokes, and I didn't want to hurt anybody. I also have a seizure disorder. Um, I'm no longer able to cook as I do little things like forget to shut the stove off. The worst thing I do is forget to grab a hot mat to take hot pans out of the oven and I use my hands and that creates a problem. There were a lot of little symptoms. Um, sometimes I could write a post or write a letter to somebody and everything was backwards and it didn't come out right. And as it progressed, um, my gait, my walking became slower. I had to think about every step I took. I'm petrified of even trying to walk up three stairs. Um... I used to love to write. Um, I found joy in so many things. And I was losing everything. When I got my diagnosis, my first reaction was a joke. I said to my husband, now you got to take me to the vet for a microchip. Um, he didn't find that funny. But... In reality, it's the truth. It's what happens. I no longer leave the house unescorted. Um, the biggest part I'm having is I don't know what day it is or even month. I know it's hot out. But all my childhood memories from the time I was four years old have come back. Some good, some bad, some creating a lot of problems for me. Um, I'm grateful that I remember my son's birth, who's 42, and he's the love of my life. He was my first love. He'll be my last love. Um, and we left Florida to move back to be with him. My darkest point, I have to say, was when... I tried all the Alzheimer's medicine in different combination, and I was feeling worse. One day, Joe came home, and I had all my medications out, my sleeping medications, my narcotics, and everything, and I was just getting ready to take them all, and I had no knowledge that I was doing it. But I wanted the confusion to stop. That's hard to say. That's very hard to say. And it's hard to live with the fact that, you know, you're going to die not even knowing your own name or the people that you love. 
Well, when I told my doctor about that episode, he told me to stop taking the meds for Alzheimer's. I was having a bad reaction to them. <clears throat> they then decided that I would receive no medication for Alzheimer's, that I'm just going to let the disease run its course. My next plan of action was going to be, okay, I'll live my life until I cross the line. When I cross the line, I will end my own life. So my family and my grandchildren will remember me the way I was. And then I had the biggest revelation. I was a Christian. I believed in Jesus. I know he has a plan for me. And taking a life that he created is just wrong. And the pain that it leaves your family members and loved ones is unforgivable to me. So I'm going to start writing again. Um, I think of you all every day. I really wish I could meet some of you. Um, it's just not financially possible. Even my bucket list is impossible. But I want to be able to share with you and let you know that there is hope. Maybe not in our lifetime, but hope for just one day is better than no hope at all. Faith for one day is better than no faith. So I just wanted to introduce myself and thank you all for reading my post. And I'm wishing you the best day that you can have. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you.